Good morning, Real Life Church. Welcome to Boost. It's wonderful that you can join me this morning as we look at God's Word. And I'm reading from the book of James, one of my all-time favourites, and from chapter 1 and verse 9. Believers who are poor have something to boast about, for God has honoured them. And those who are rich should boast that God has humbled them. They will fade away like a little flower in the field. The hot sun rises and the grass withers. The little flower droops and falls and its beauty fades away. In the same way, the rich will fade away with all of their achievements. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterwards, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. And remember, when you are being tempted, do not say God is tempting me. God is never tempted to do wrong and he never tempts anyone else. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions. And when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. So don't be misled, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word, and we, out of all creation, became his prized possession. Wow, there is so much truth, there is so much gold in this passage from James. And I want to talk to you this morning about the trials and the temptations that come our way. And, you know, temptation can seem so strong, so real, almost such a natural part of us. But we need to understand that that's the flesh part of us. And what God is encouraging us to do is to not be enticed, uh, to not let that temptation that comes our way drag us away from his kingdom purposes in our lives. Because what happens is, is that when we have a temptation, it starts to allow sin to influence and to act in our lives. And then what happens with sin, once it's rooted in us, it grows and it gives birth to spiritual death. And so this morning, if you are facing some sort of temptation that seems really, really powerful and really strong in your life, God's word actually gives us a clear strategy and direction on what to do with that temptation. It says to flee, to absolutely get rid of it, run away from it and start to renew your mind with God's truths and God's word. Because if we allow sin to take root, then it can take us down wrong paths. It can drag us away from walking uh, with Jesus every day. And it's just a very negative uh, way to live. And so please, this morning, if you're struggling with temptation, can I encourage you that God's word has a great strategy? Run, flee from it in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for those this morning that may be experiencing temptation. Lord, I just thank you this morning that you are with us through every trial, through every temptation that comes our way. And your word tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And so you've given us your ability to overcome every temptation. And I pray for those this morning that may be struggling, that may have been enticed and dragged away. I pray that you would restore them to full relationship with you. And Father God, that they would just start to renew their minds, uh, to think like you think and to walk like you walk. And so I pray for strength and courage to make good decisions today. In Jesus' precious and lovely name, amen. Well, that's all from me today. Um, we love you. We're cheering you on. And I'll talk to you again soon uh, about the book of James. Mwah. <laughs>